Good morning, everyone. This is Rue Chicolant Babe is coming on. Uh, I hope everyone is well. Um, I wanted to come on. I know I haven't did a video in a minute. Um, yeah, auntie, aunties and uncles, I haven't been feeling well. But all is well. All is well. I had an early doctor appointment this morning. Oh, last week. Well, I've been dealing with pains for a minute. For a minute. But anyway, I wanted to come on with Fat Fat Mama. This is PJ, y'all. This is my Lulu. Yeah, named her PJ. That's her uh, initials. We'll just call her PJ for short. AKA Fat Mama, and this is Journey. Yeah, um, I can't pronounce her, uh, the sculptor. <laughs> uh, I have to put it in the video. I get her, um, I get her a COA, and um, this is Journey by Laura Lee Eagle. So, I don't know. With these two, it's like I want these two together. <laughs> uh, I know they they don't look none alike. I'm not making them twins or nothing like that. Uh, but I just have these two together. Um, I always dress them. Even if I'm not dressing them on camera, I dress them all camera. But I try to dress them similar. You know, um, I know these my two. <laughs> they, 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 they together. I put them together. But anyway, yeah. Uh, mommy haven't been feeling well. Uh, like I said, I've been dealing with a lot of pain, and uh, I ended up had to go to to my primary on last week. Because um, it, it got where um, I can't hardly rest, you know, for these pains. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> when I went, they scheduled me an early appointment. They actually scheduled me for the coming that evening. And the uh, way the traffic is where I live at is very congested. Uh, and I'm, I'd rather have an appointment early in the morning. I don't want to do no evening appointment and they had it like 5 30 so you know y'all that's that's the that's the uh rush hour people getting off from work getting off the interstates and stuff like that so i did not want to be going to no you know seeing no doctor that that late like that so i'm gonna get uh fat mama get pj first i'm trying to make sure Oh, they in a frame. Maybe I need to bring this down a little bit. Make sure. Because I, I, yeah, I don't have to always see me. And I'm not feeling good anyway. So I decided when I I'll get back in bed. I had got up real early this morning. Um, I wanted to take him out of the PJ. She's not they not dressed similar, but I wanted her and Bunny. I just wanted to try this little, these little pants out, but they fit her. But um, yeah, they gonna be dressing similar this morning though. But I wanted to take them out of these and put them in ones because it's it's warming up, y'all. It's been warm. So anyway, like I said, I did go to the doctor on last week. And, you know, having pains, but you know, it had subsided once I got there. But you know, all of a sudden, I was sitting in the waiting room and uh, I had to use the restroom. I used the restroom. And I don't know, y'all, I don't know what happened. I can't explain, but all of a sudden, this sharp pain hit me so hard. Lord have mercy. All I could do was call on Jesus. I said, Jesus. 
I mean, I ain't never felt, you know, I been, I felt excruciating pain, but this one right here, it, it's like all of a sudden it came on. And I had to grab, I had to grip my side. I was hurting so bad. And I didn't know if I wanted to change them out of the, um, I was going to just, you know, like change the powder away from inside instead of changing the diaper, but just, you know, like freshen it up. Uh, yeah, I'm lazy. I feel like. Yeah, I'm just freshen it up. Because all they doing is just sleeping. So it don't look like it really need to be changed. <laughs> Her pain is so beautiful. I'm changing the socks out too. Yeah, so when I say that the pain had hit me so hard, y'all, I couldn't even explain uh, all of a sudden why that happened. And anyway, uh, time I got out, it didn't hit me until I sat down. I don't know that I sat down the wrong way. I, I couldn't even explain it, y'all, what happened. But I know I was in so much pain. I thought, man, I, I really thought I had to go to the ER. That's just how bad it was. And um, so the nurse had called me, and I can barely walk. I just barely can walk. I was like, Lord, have mercy. What's going on? So anyway, PJ going, she going to put, I'm going to put her on a clean uh, newborn onesie, and she's going to wear... I'm going to get it on the other one. I'm sorry. She's going to wear this one. It's pink and white. And it's stripes. It's a newborn. Just something um, nice and cool to put put on. What else? So I changed her. But yeah, they got me back there. And, and they did my weight. I ain't wanted to. I ain't feel like doing none of that. I was hurting so bad. And then got in the room. I couldn't hardly sit in the chair. And um, so she had me sit up on the table. But she did check my blood pressure. Y'all, my blood pressure shot up so high because that's just how much pain I was in. And then she checked it on the other arm. It was still high. Um, so anyway... Had to lay there, and the whole time, y'all, I'm I got my I'm gripping my side, and and in my, you know, it was like on my right side, and I'm gripping it from the back, holding it from the front. I was like, I was so much better. and I was just lay there and just pray, just pray, you know, and so <clears throat> anyway, the um. Uh, the nurse practitioner came in, and uh, she was checking me, you know, and I was already, you know, laying down. She wanted me to kind of, you know, she had to help me sit up, and uh, she was checking my breathing and everything. Uh, then she had me to do a urine, you know, like a urine sample, so she had to help me step down off the table and going going in and uh, I did that and you know like I said y'all was praying I was praying and when I got a little bit when I walked in and back in the um uh, in the room the pain had left my body and all I can do is just throw my hands up and say, thank you, Jesus. Because y'all, y'all just don't know. I was in so much pain. I couldn't even explain how it happened just that quick. But anyway, they ended up giving me a shot because they didn't want me to, you know, they didn't know if it was going to come back or not, but they ended up giving me a shot. And um, they gave me, she gave me a referral to get an ultrasound. So that's why I went this morning, to, you know, to get an ultrasound. Yeah. 
And you know, sometimes I think, and this is what I'm thinking, and I might be wrong. I think the pains that I'm having, even to this day, I still have pain around my neck and shoulder part. It's steaming from the car accident that I was in. And that's what I'm thinking, that I'm still going through that. I know I am with some of that pain. I know I am. But this other pain, I don't know where this was coming from, but you never know. So, anyway, I would put on baby girl on um, crochet booties and then you let y'all see. <laughs> She's so beautiful. I tell you, it's my beautiful baby girl. Okay, mama. And I put her on. I put on these crochet booties. pink she's so beautiful y'all pj i tell you she the last said she the only baby got painted hair ah. painted hair i'm gonna uh, put this on she got so many bowls i got all different styles of bowl but i saw this one so i grabbed it i didn't even get a chance to even look at the rest of you know what else she got but she do she she was going to be my bow baby. My hair bow baby. Because she's a baldy. Uh, well, the rest of them, they not bald. But I still got bows for them. But she's the main main one. PJ the main one. Got bow. And this blanket here. I got this with Emily. I still have it. So I let the girls lay on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay PJ. Uh, but anyway, did the test. So I won't get the test. They won't get the test result probably about maybe Thursday. Thursday or Friday, I say, at the moment. So you might hear something as soon as they get it. Until then, I'm just going to take it easy. I'm trying to lay her in the mood journey. Up this way. Get PJ back here. Mm -hmm. Oh, child. Yeah. Oh, chunky. She got some chunky cheeks. I don't know if y'all can see her way back there. And this is her little nubby that I got for her. All my babies got their little special little nubbies that they have. Oh, I don't even know what I did with baby girl pacifier. But I really don't, you know, I sometimes I do put, a, I let her uh, have a pacifier, sometimes I don't, because I just love looking at her face and her mouth, the way it's painted so pretty. She painted so beautiful, y'all. Little chunky lady. Okay, and this is Journey Lovey. Yeah, I keep her pacifier. And she fuss all the time. She <laughs> is fussy girl. And this came in her uh, when I won her at the doll show. This um, this uh, pacifier clip. It came in her box. Her box open. Yeah, I had to get her reborn, y'all. Get her painted and everything. And she came with some beautiful gifts. Yeah. Yeah, baby girl, her fussy self. Her fussy self. <laughs> and uh, she comes with a uh, body plate as well. Um, it's a torso. It's uh, It's not a... Uh, it's a whole one right here. I can't... Um, yeah, I should have brought it. Let y'all see it. But I took it off because for, for a while, when I first got her, All coming in, and I don't recognize the number. I always say if it's important, they leave a message. No, we don't knock my um my video off. So anyway, with Journey, I'm putting her on this plain pink one. She's in the pink um onesie, and then they both uh in a um a clean under shirt newborn. I'm very easy to dress them because they both newborn. And I 
actually journey is small. She like a lot slimmer in her um what you call it? <laughs> I can't even get the word out now. I'm thinking it, but it, it won't come out. I guess her torso. Uh, she lot she's a lot um slimmer than um baby girl. Yeah, than PJ. Cause when I when when I first got her reborn, she, I had her on a on her um her vinyl body on her, and it and it's it's um it's no uh, anatomic or not like that. It just it just came. It just let's go down to her navel, but it's beautiful. So a while she had it on. For a long time, I just had it on because I just wanted to see her in it, and um, I think it was Bohemia Doll Lover. I think I don't know if she ever removed her baby's on. I think she did because she had a um a baby from um Laura Lee Eagles, and I think I don't know if she removed hers. Or something like that. I, I, I think if I got it wrong, forgive me. But I was like, man, maybe I should do Journey and see how Journey. Her uh, first, y'all, I'm be honest with y'all. I, I couldn't bond with Journey because I did. I had her up for adoption. I did. Because uh, I didn't like her hair. I, I was really kind of, you know, really frustrated with it at times. But, um,. I finally got it did. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank God for Miss Beverly. <laughs> Miss Beverly um in a rerouting um um journey for me and I was so happy that I finally got a Harry did. But I'm gonna tell y'all, before I got a Harry did, um I took her belly plate off just to see how she looked without it. And how it was, and I'm gonna tell you some. I ain't, I did not know this girl was so small after taking that body plate off her, that belly plate. It's like a belly plate, like a whole torso or whatever. It just don't come with the parts. It just down to her navel. But I didn't realize how small she was. She was so tiny, and I fell in love with this girl all over again. You know, because she was, like, different without that, um, I, I was thinking about putting it back on, but you know what? I, and, and you can tell this little undershirt, she really can probably can get away, I believe, with a preemie. Because with the newborn undershirt, look how much room it is in there. But I really for it, you know, not be so tight anyway. But, um... She's, she's a beautiful size. I like their size. I really do. To me, they're more like newborn, newborn babies. And that's what I like. With these two here. So I say, well, if I change one, I'm going to change the other one. And they share a space together as well. I got them two together. But, um, yeah, this one, girl, Journey. <laughs> this is Journey. I didn't, um, never did get her middle name, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I, um, I named it after her kit. Cause that's her kit name. Sculptor name, you know. Journey. It's kind of a little, this is a newborn, but. It look like everything fit a little big on, uh, big on her. I ain't gonna say she can pretty much get away with a preemie. Uh, wearing a preemie onesie. That's how small she is. Okay. Look at her. And she got a head on her. <laughs> got a small body but a head. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> Bust itself. Yeah, she look at her hair all messed up. And that's uh, Miss Beverly rooted her hair. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, uh oh, baby girl. Yeah. 
I love the way she rooted her hair. It's messy. And, uh, and check this out. I ain't bring no, <laughs> I ain't bring no brush, no uh, bottle of water, no spray bottle for her. I get it though. <laughs> I just love her hair. I am so happy. I'm so pleased. Yeah, that's baby girl. Fussy cell. But yeah. <clears throat> that's a, I, I see I I look at it like this here. Somebody if I don't like about my baby, I'm trying to change it. You know, get it to get them to where I really like how they is, you know. Did I pull her? No. I don't even think I put her um Saturday. I was talking. I don't even know if I put I was changing the um the baby powder wipe and I don't even know if I changed journey. Yeah, because I'm looking at one. Yeah, I didn't change it. <laughs> okay then. But this one looks fresh too. Okay, yeah, that, that's the fresh one. Hers did look the fresh. Yeah, but I keep them in the newborn pampers though. I don't think I would put her in a preemie. Her journey can she can wear a newborn. Anyway, I just um I stopped at a store and I think I'm gonna get some tacos. I've been wanting some tacos for a minute, y'all. Do tacos. I came home and took a shower. I did stop at Mickey D's, get some breakfast because I couldn't have uh after midnight last night. Couldn't have nothing else. Couldn't eat nothing. Couldn't drink nothing. So. I need to eat some breakfast and cut my blood pressure pill when I got to the house. And so I put Journey on these crochet little booties. Plain, they just plain people. <laughs> this girl, she got a head on her. She got a small body and a big head. But she's so beautiful though. Oh, fussy self. Let me go on. <laughs> what do I have? But uh, I hope everyone is um is well. We'll continue to pray for one another. Um Yes, y'all. That's the reason why I haven't been on, um, I haven't been uh, feeling well. And then on top of the pain, you know, I've been feeling like uh, uh, fatigued, like I get so tired. So anyway, there's one of what's going on. But until then, I know I'm in God's hand. Yeah. Let me go get a brush and a bottle of water, um, a spray bottle. Okay, I'm back. What I do, y'all, um, I buy boxes like these. What got me started getting boxes like these, ever since I received a box from My Bella Blessing, I received a blessing box for, uh, for some years. It was years ago. Uh, and it was so beautiful, and she got me started buying boxes, <laughs> cause I um, I had boxes to keep all their birth certificate, they CO, really they COA, the birth certificate is in, is in another um area, but I've been buying boxes. I got one that say Seek Joy. And the one that I keep my personal stuff in is Be Happy and Smile, and then I got this one for uh fat mama and it's saying enjoy life and they got like the bear crow 
and I keep all her bows. See all the bows that I keep for this girl. And when I got PJ, not Journey, what did I say? Journey, this PJ box. I'm sorry. I don't even know. I, I thought I said Journey, but it's PJ. Oh, when I first got Journey, not Journey, PJ. <laughs> I started buying all kind of bowls for her. And, you know, all the girls, they can share. I mean, no problem. But I was really focused on PJ because she's the, she's the one that's bald hair. She don't have no hair. So I was buying bowls for her. And I got another pink one. I didn't know if I wanted to change that one out or keep it on her head. But... Yeah, it's a different one, different styles. And I think I purchased these on eBay, these types here with the polka dot. All kind of bows that I get. And I ain't mistaken, it might be Journey's on. Because um, cause Journey came, she came with some hair bows too. But I didn't know if I wanted to put one on her head. But I really, I really love seeing her hair. I really do. And uh, PJ looks so cute in these bows. Yeah. And um, Janae too. Janae look good in bows too. And then, yeah, I keep all her bows in that box. And then PJ, I keep all PJ pacifier in here. And I forgot where I get these little cute little, um, I think they came as gifts. I can't tell y'all who I got it from, but I know they came as gifts or let I order something or I don't know. But um, these are PJ um, pacifiers. So I just, I kept these little, little uh, crochet knitted things. And the bottle one came from one of the aunties, I don't know. But here's her pacifier here. to do pacifiers. I don't want to do them no more. I don't like buying pacifiers like that. There's certain ones that they like. They buy. But yeah, I keep. I try to keep up with, with this stuff. And I know Jerry got hers on her own. Oh, PJ ain't got. I, I didn't even put one on her. Those were. Oh, excuse me. Them, them little boxes like that, uh, they come in handy when you want to keep up with, with the accessories and stuff. I, I tell you, when you got girls, and I know I got a lot of them now, and, and I have certain areas I keep their stuff in, and shoot, I need something to put their stuff in so I can keep up with it, keep up with their stuff. Trying to go to the um go the direction of the how she rooted her hair, and I love and this what I love how Miss Bablet rooted her. Let me see if I can get her close. Oh, yeah, I love this rooting, y'all. <laughs> how she did it, like the hair and like, her, her little sideburns like that. I love that. And, and she really, she did an awesome job when she did Journey, I tell you. And I didn't tell her nothing. I didn't, I ain't, I ain't, because I know Miss Beverly know her stuff, and I ain't had to tell her how I want the baby hair or nothing. She did it. And I thank God for her. But, uh, She's not doing anything right now. I don't even think uh, she's not doing a rooting service. She, most of some of the artists, they not doing anything. You know, like custom or doing. If they do anything, they probably just paint or whatever, and they just put the baby up for adoption. With you know, when they finish, but other 
far as custom and stuff like that, some of the artists are not doing it. Yeah, so. Yeah, gonna miss Miss Beverly. I think Rachel Farrell is another one. Uh, I think a lot of them not doing a whole lot like they used to. So I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Sometimes you kind of have to step back, take a break. I don't know. But I so appreciate it. I'm glad I got her in time, you know, to do baby girl hair. I am so happy, so pleased with her hair. Oh, this is my baby. That's my baby girl. <clears throat> I love these dolls. I mean, they so, I, I just love the, it, um, the artwork. And I know they ain't real. You know, you got people that come on your video and they try to tell you. They'll say, you know, a little comment saying, um, I hope she know they ain't real. You know, crazy stuff like that they be leaving on your video. I don't need nobody to come on my video and leave no message like that telling me I, uh, they ain't real. I know they ain't real. Duh. They dogs. Yeah, they, they'll do that. I don't know if anybody had that problem. You know, have people just, and, and then they know, they don't follow your channel. It's just some of the ones that, that instigators, that nosy, just want to see what you're doing. Um, and then they don't understand. So some of them just run in their mouth. They don't understand why people collect these, these um, lifelike dolls, you know. But, um, yeah, I don't need nobody to come on my channel telling me, oh, I, um, do, a, do I know she knows they not real? Yeah, I had somebody to comment. You know, I didn't even respond. I just, I just blocked them, you know, because I don't have time for foolishness like that. I enjoy my dogs. And then one thing I can say, and I thank God that he blessed me with a husband that support, that support my hobby. And um, he loved these babies just as much as I do. We know they not real, but I thank God for the artists, you know, that make these lifelike dolls. They are beautiful to enjoy. I thank God that I got different varieties, different shades of color. Uh, I got different um, sizes from newborns to... to uh, zero to three month size six to nine month size i got toddlers you know what i'm saying because before those that have been following my channel for day one that know me that you know that how i've been collecting i didn't have all these dogs when i first started because i did i couldn't get them like that you know what i'm saying so god just he really blessed me he made a way that i was able to um get reborns you know dogs that i really like that i wanted in my um in my nursery you know and i i um i got silicones too you know got a partial silicone fat boy over there i started to change him this morning but i said you know i'm always grabbing the boys let me get the girl <laughs> some video time but i you know he 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 been with mama i tell you he know mama been her he been right now with me in the bed so I had him this morning, too, when I got back home. I just put him back in his little crib. <laughs> so I said, let me grab the girls and do uh, a video with them. But, yes, but uh, when I'm not feeling well, and, and, and I, I, get my, I get my reborns, and I just put them in the bed with me and stuff, you know. And, uh, and I don't have children. My my husband don't have any kids. I never could have kids, you know, at a young age, you know. Um, so that's the thing, you know. You have people come on your channel, and 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 it's like, and it's not all the time. This happened, well, I think maybe about a month or two ago. I'm just talking about it now, you know. I know it's talking about it Tuesday. <laughs> Y'all know I always have to say something, but um. But anyway, I really don't, don't, I really don't care because, you know, I know they not real, you know, but I thank God that he blessed me to have them.
you know, to be able to, to have them and to enjoy. So, anyway, don't, don't let nobody uh, dictate your life and, and tell you, you know, because you got people... It, well, I did a video a while back. Take six months to stay out of other people's business and take another six months to stay in your own business, you know? But you got people like that. They just they don't even know you and they just jump on they just jump on your channel and say all kind of crazy stuff. Really? But anyway, and I don't care if the person coming back saying something or whoever, somebody new coming back on the channel. I don't I don't need nobody to come on my channel and tell me that my these babies are not real and stuff. They 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 like 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 closer to the real babies, you know, and they we know they eyes ain't open, they ain't breathing and stuff like that, <laughs> you know. I I love them, and and, and nobody can't can't tell me nothing, cause I ain't asking. You know, one thing about it, <laughs> my my uh, my husband. I thank God for him. He bless. He he's a blessing. And he get these uh, reborns from me. So I, I thank God for my husband. He loves me just as much as I do. So if y'all have husband and family that support y'all, that, that's that's fantastic. That's good when you have someone that just supports you. You know, because some people go through a health, you know, health issue, different reasons, you know, um, that they, they collect these. And really, uh, I always had love babies, even you know uh, dolls anyway. But I'm talking about babies too. I always liked the babies because when I was a teenager, I used to babysit little, little other people, babies and stuff, you know. But I always had love children, you know. I love dogs too. I, don't, I ain't too fond of cats, <laughs> but I like dogs too, you know. I like my birds. So there's other stuff that I collect. I don't have a dog because right now. Hey, I, I can't, well, I ain't going to say I can't fit it in my budget right now, but right now I got it, um, Rachel going to see about Rachel right now. There's some things that I need done, you know, uh, health-wise, and, uh, yeah, there's some stuff going to be going on that, um, y'all might not see me for a little bit, you know, because, um, I'm gonna have, I got some things I need to do, okay? So anyway, thank y'all so much for uh, subscribing to my channel, uh, supporting my channel. Thank y'all so much. Uh, but anyway, um, y'all have a blessed one. I hope I see y'all in the next video. Y'all be blessed. Just know Jesus love y'all. And you know, stay prayerful. Stay prayerful. Please stay prayerful because there's so much going on in this world. It is, I'm telling you, y'all, the Lord is soon to come. Please stay prayerful. Stay close to God. I, you know, and I pray for my family that they get to know God because I'm telling you, it's going to be sad. It's going to be sad when he cracked the sky. It's going to be sad for those that are going to be left behind. Please. And, uh, and yeah, I know I, I, you know, I say things. Uh, I can talk about other stuff. But when it comes to salvation and your life, your soul and everything, that's, that's for real. That's for real. And I'm letting you know heaven is real and hell is real. So I just, just y'all just pray, stay close to God, get to know the Lord. If you if you ain't saved, get saved. You know, I ask the Lord to come into your heart, and repent. You know. So anyway, I love y'all. Just know Jesus love y'all too. Y'all be blessed. It's y'all niece again, FPJ over here. And it's his journey. We're going to get ready and go. Peace.